So we went over to the old house that's just about to fall down and I found four really good doors. I've never had so many problems trying to get paint off of these doors and I finally just tried a heat gun and uh, never really used one for paint but I tell you what I wish I would have known that yesterday morning because I spent all the time I had yesterday with the sanding business and of course you know at least behind grooves and things like that even if I do the best I can with it but it just takes hours and hours and hours to get this paint off so we went last night and picked up a paint stripper gun the one I had that was like this is broke it quit I don't think they're made to last forever and I've had it for a really long time so this stuff was made to uh, stay on forever if it wasn't for this paint I would have never been able to uh, salvage these because that saved these doors I'm really grateful that whoever painted this back in 1935 or 1940 or whatever, they did a good job on it. And uh, in a rotten house, I could pull these out and these are still usable. About the best I can do with the tools I have. Got them done finally both sides. I need to extend these out on one side by about three and a half to four inches. So I have to rip something on that and it's just completely covered in tools and junk because that's how I operate. <laughs> As usual, I have to take a break from what I'm doing because something's broke and I have to fix it. Okay, I got it out. Only problem is this thing is just loaded with staples, so I've got to pull all these staples out. I will rip it in half, which is about the right. Uh, width for the doors Alrighty, I got this compressed as much as I can with the straps up against the door and then I'll sand this down I uh, need to make a little mouse door for that. I got some screws toenailed in and got this glued. It's still not completely dry, but I'm gonna start sanding this because it's pretty rough. It's gonna take a while to get that smooth. Well, I got it sanded and I need to go find some hardware to hang these doors. We did a job and picked up a bunch of material this massive curtain was in the material it's got these roller hangers and then here is the track for it you got to figure out how to mount these to the doors but i don't think that'll be such a problem what i'm looking for right here and they go in like this One down, one to go. Got that rustic uh, look to it. I like it. Well, in order to hang the doors, I had to shorten these hangers, and I'm having to custom make them. There's a little hole that I drilled through there. Kind of, uh, kind of dark today, so I don't have very good lighting. Whoa. 
Whoops. Got everything installed. Got the hardware installed on these doors. Got the doors leveled. Now I've got to work on the threshold. Look how windy it is. I'll try to block it, but yeah, it is. That's all I had was this uh, painted or it's actually primer trim so I thought I would sand that off because I'm staining everything. Well if you haven't figured it out by now, this is the threshold I'm building for those doors. <laughs> to go over the top to hide the track system some countersink holes so I can put it straight into the ground and this will be the front part of the track on the bottom up like I did on the uh, end cap I'm just gonna make a this is just a trim piece anyway so I cut it to where it'll fit over and still give me that nice trim look I don't work too good when it's like that this is what it looks like it's got a nice wood grain uh, just got to let it kind of soak in and dry a little bit. I need to build some handles for the uh, doors and then put those on and be just one step closer to being finished. I've seen anything like this. But I can't tell if I'm getting it. Yeah, it looks like I'm kind of getting it. It looks like that's on fire. Looks like it's getting about that time. Cows are ready to eat. They're lined up. All right, there's the front threshold. Now we gotta install this back threshold. Well, it looks like I'm finally done. Complete with the mouse hole. So all I have to do really is put some beeswax on these things after they finish drying up and it'll be nice and pretty. I hope you enjoyed it.